What's going on, guys? This is Ollie from Broadside. And Dorian from Broadside. And we're in Lapstick at the Galaxy Camp Fest. And this interview is for all schools. I love you. I wanted to write you in all of my songs. I always end up where I start. This is the last gig of Galaxy Camp. And I don't know if you've known it, but the Galaxy Camp Festival is the first pop punk festival in Germany ever. Yeah, I didn't know that. So cool. Yeah, this was the first. Th this was the inaugural uh, Galaxy Camp Fest, and it it was really like it was it's brief but so fun. It was really cool to watch like so many kids turn out, and yeah, it was like a mini little warp tour, like a Germany slam dunk kind of thing. It was real. It was awesome. I loved watching. It. It's been a good time kind of an honor that you said it's a kind of Germany slam dunk thing because I love the slam dunk in the UK. Mm. It's kind of really cool that you just said this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for yeah. that. I think like this, for this to be the first year that it did anything, it, it did really well. I, I would bet if it continues, like it'll just get Yeah, it would bigger. get bigger and bigger. Yeah, yes, so. Yesterday was massive. I'm sure today's going to be quite a good turnout. It's awesome because like we've never been to Germany, so to come over here and to get to play a fest with such good bands and have a lot of people show up, whether they've heard of us or not, that's like the perfect segue into coming into a country, you know what I'm saying? So that's the type of crowd you want to play to as opposed to like small club venues where they may or may not come. They're going to come for their favorite bands and then hopefully we'll be there and be like, hey, look at me. Yeah. And here we are. Maybe, no, maybe We call ourselves the cockroaches. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's a metaphor. We survive nuclear winters yes <laughs> i think so you will <laughs> <laughs> so um if you could explain the genre pop punk to a person who really does have no clue what pop punk is what would you say to them oh i got it all right so imagine that you grew up listening to alternative punk rock music but you understand that you're never going to make money on it so then you add in pop elements, and then you realize there's no money in that either. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> pop punk is basically like a, like a more melody-driven punk atmosphere. Like, everyone here is still alternative. We're still into the culture of tattoos, skateboarding, uh, the, the, the outside looking in. But we understand, or, or we also enjoy melody-driven, at least our band, melody-driven songs, uh, structure of, like, pop songs, and understanding that there's a bit of a brightness to it. It's like delivering the punk genre in a, in a more yeah, I, pleasing I, way to the general audience. Yeah. So not, not to everyone, because we're still outsiders, but it's, yes. Yes, <laughs> I mean like everyone here has grown up listening to like tough stuff and right. punk stuff. Like I'm sure everyone here has listened to like the Dead Kennedys or like listens to Turnstile, but at the same time they'll go over and listen to Ariana Grande and right. One Direction. Well, rest in peace. But um, <laughs> not dead, just dead to us. BTS. <laughs> like everyone, like the, like, cause it's you can't just like one spectrum. Liking the whole spectrum is fun, and I think that this was like an insane, like broad-lined middle ground between all the different spectrums. Because everyone here, I guarantee, likes listening to pop stuff and punk stuff. Hence the name. True. Maybe. It's like liking tattoos, but then being able to have this haircut. That's what pop punk is. Yes. <laughs> it's, um, Pretty boy punk rock. I'm trying to think of another analogy. I can't, I'm trying to th I can't think of it. It's, it's like... It, okay, it's like drinking black coffee uh -huh. and then eating a cupcake. Yeah, that's Here, what pop punk is. If you, everyone likes both. Well, no. Well... Sometimes it was Not good though. Everyone. Black coffee is an acquired taste, but so is punk. Mm -hmm. Boom. Mm -hmm. We smart. Great words, great metaphors. Great. <laughs> you heard it here first with Dorian. <laughs> punk rock so. is cupcakes and coffee. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> great. That's, that's us. That's us. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> that's broadside. Yeah, I would say. So your album Paradise was released last year. And I would like to know what um, the title track Paradise means to you personally. Paradise to, I think we'll both answer this. To me personally, Paradise was, you know, I kind of stupidly packed all my stuff up and moved to the West Coast when I was living on the East Coast. And I was like, I'm just going to make it happen, you know? And so that, and then I think just being in a band in general, like you kind of just go out and hope that 
if you give your all and you show up, whether you've showered or not, that people will like you and appreciate you and want to support your music and your dreams enough to be able to call your mom and say, hey, mom, I ate three meals today. And so Paradise is about just no matter what, kind of having tunnel vision, but I'm looking straight at the end goal and then just trying to focus on that for all you can. And like we have a lyric that's like, go chase your paradise into the waves. It's like a double entendre. Like literally I moved to the West Coast where the ocean is, but also secondary, like no matter what, the ocean is a terrifying place. So if you just charge right at it, I don't it's know, gonna, you might find some seashells. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna attack you and fight you along the way. That's right. the nature of the ocean and the universe. Mm-hmm. So, you know, like if you wanna do something that's outside the norm, it's gonna push you back a little bit. But pursue like pushing through all those obstacles and you know, people saying like, Hey, what that's that's a weird career choice and but if you like work hard at it and you're like dedicated enough, I think that it's that anything is really possible and that's the whole that's the whole yeah. point. Yeah. That's kind of our entire vibe as a band too, like with all of our lyrics, we wanted to have this like deep, deep meaning, but deliver it in like a well-balanced, polished way. So um, at least it was our vibe for this record. Like, oh, like it's fun to listen to. And then if you give it that second, if you're if we're lucky enough to have you listen a second time or third time, you start to dive in. You're like, oh, they're saying some like real shit here. You know what I'm saying? She's dressed up. Yeah, dressed up. Icing. Sad icing music. On <laughs> icing on the cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these people riding these bikes. What a life. Yeah. Man. Yes, of course. They're in a bike group. Oh, bike group. <laughs> oh my god, they've got friends. How do you have enough friends <laughs> to have ride bikes with? I don't know how you get more leisurely than a group bike ride through a park on a run. What day is it? Sunday. 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 Perfect. Crazy. Sunday. Yeah. Perfect day. And I watched a few interviews with you and I think it was you who said um, something like uh, Me? You, you, yeah. Uh-huh. You always need something that scares you to mm-hmm. push you further. Well, I, yeah, I, I, I personally think that if you're not doing something that frightens you, then you're not experiencing life as fully as you could, you know. Yeah. And 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 I think that goes along with with writing as well, like because we were doing stuff on the last record that was like well out of our comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Like we we have a song on Paradise called "Laps Around a Picture Frame." And we, like, the, the way we wrote it is we, like, set it up around, like, a movie scene in a bar. And we, like, created this whole scene between two people. And between writing it lyrically like that yeah. and writing it structure-wise, mm-hmm. like, it was very outside the box for us. And it made me nervous because I was like, this is, like, so out of our comfort zone. Mm-hmm. And it was, and I was like afraid, you know, because I was like, oh, people aren't gonna like it, you know, because like it's new, it's different. I'm like, I'm unsure about it. But at the same time, I think that in those moments, you can come up with some of the coolest stuff when you're like not sure where to go. So you just like try to pick the best idea, no matter what, no matter what the the rules of like pop punk music are. Sorry, and like, you know, the what every other band is doing. If you if it rips, it rips. And I we really liked that song. And and it's crazy because I didn't I didn't know how that was gonna go. And Germany was actually like one of the first places I saw pop off really, really hard for it. Yeah. Like yesterday, the reaction to that song was unreal. It was nuts, yeah. And we were like, oh God, cool, glad we did this. All right, sweet. Yeah, so, yeah. It was that awesome. was the right decision. Yeah, Great. Right. Yeah, of course. And it was nice to, again, write a song from like a, a visual standpoint. Yeah. You know, like we're both visual people. So to be able to imagine a scene and then write a song about it pretty backwards and really artsy in a cool way so it was, fun. Yeah. It was like it was fun to do that yeah